uh, welcome back friends uh, in this video we'll see how the justified write clause works in cobol uh, in this example i've coded a simple program where i've declared a variable called ws test which is alpha numeric with the value hello now this is occupying 5 bytes and the value what i'm storing it is also 5 bytes now this justified write as the name suggests it is for write justification alpha numeric and alphabetic data types are by default left justified numeric is right justified you know the numbering uh, this one uh, justification is done from the right and for alphabetic and alpha numeric the justifications happens from the left side so if you want to override the default justification for alphabetic and alpha numeric mind you it's uh, applicable only for alphabetic and alpha numeric you use the justified right clause here without the justification i am just printing the value which will be displayed as ws hello and with justification it will have uh, based on the number of uh, bytes of the target data type it will justify it will have uh, five bytes of space and then followed by hello so let's just compile this the compilation has gone fine let's just execute it the name of the program is pop just and since i've used only display statements only sysout is required along with step in so let's go to the spool so if we look at our output without the justification the original data type which was x of 5 it just had 5 bytes now with justification i had moved it into an x of 10 justified right so if you just move it into an x of 10 it will have the same impact it will just display hello but if you are moving it into a justified clause then it will have the you know additional spaces based on the size of the data since the size of my target data was 10 bytes there are 5 bytes of space here okay now let's make some change one works so instead of 5 bytes if i take 10 here the result won't be same now because it will take the additional 5 bytes also spaces and it cannot justify for that so let's just save it let's uh, directly execute it from uh, the spool itself so compile it compilation has gone fine so let's just execute it so now you should not be able to find any difference although we have given justified right loss see because if you look at the program here so here this additional 5 bytes is also taken which is blanks this is 5 bytes but there is an additional 5 bytes which are blank and so there is no space for it to do the justification only when i take a lower value then it justifies so here either i have to increase this value so that i'll have the little bit of justification now if i make it 15 you will find those uh, you know five spaces at the beginning if you see 
because I had given a 15 bytes and this original one was 10 bytes, it took the 5 bytes and then it justified that. So, hope you are clear with the how the justified write clause works. You have to be quite care careful when you are, uh, you know, doing the justification, you also need to look into the size consideration. If the value what is stored is not an exact match, then it takes the additional, uh, you know, bytes as spaces and that is also having some sort of, you know, it has a space, value space. So there, if your target is also of the same size, then it will not do the justification because the it takes uh, blank also as a part of the string. Okay. So only if you, you can, you have to increase the target or you have to decrease the, you know, source for it to do the justification. Hope this is clear. Okay. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.